What's going on? My name is Ian with ReviewZ, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing this back massager, so stay tuned. All right, so this back massager is called the Moquishal Shiatsu Back Shoulder and Neck Massager. Pretty cool. I'm pretty much digging it. I originally bought it for my wife as a Christmas present, and um, I found myself using it a little bit more than she did. So, you know, figured share some uh, opinions about it. Okay, so basically this is where the power cable gets plugged into. Right now it's plugged into the wall, but it also comes with a cigarette lighter power cable in case you want to use it while you're in the car, I guess on a long road trip. You should not be using this if you're driving. So hopefully you're just using it as a passenger. Yeah, I don't want to be on the road with people getting massages and stuff, driving a vehicle. That's a little scary. Comes in this box. You get pretty much three things. You get the two charging options. Actually, I guess it's not charging because there's no battery. It's just straight power. You put it on like this and you put your hands through these loops. And really, I mean, this is like the best. They say you can use it all over your body, but really like this is the best way that I've found to use it because I do have these muscles right here get so tight and they get annoying because I guess that's how I sleep. I don't know. Anyway, right here on your left shoulder, you got four options. You got power, change direction. These things like move like this. So it'll just move the other way if you change direction. You got intensity level and then you got heat, which is pretty cool. Heat will actually turn these balls. I'll go ahead and turn it on now. All right, it's on. You see how they're red right now? Pretty sure that's because the heat's on. So if I turn the heat off, boom, now they're not red. So red is that indication that your heat is on. There you go. And you see how they move. They're kind of basic, right? But it actually feels like real good. It feels pretty good. Definitely doing this daily, I would imagine, would, oh man, loosen up those muscles a little bit. But yeah, to be honest, like that's what's cool about these straps is that you can adjust your pressure. So like I can push down more if I like really want to go hard with it or um, ease up a bit, you know. But just kind of using your arm weight is a pretty much good. Like you don't have to be pushing down the entire time. You can just use your arm's weight to just hold it down on you. I would definitely give this four and a half stars out of five, 4.5 stars out of five, okay? And there are some pros and there are some cons, so let me go ahead and jump into what I like, what I don't like. So I've already talked a little bit about what I like. I like the straps, I like the different options you get there with the power, intensity, rotation, heat, and all that kind of stuff. That's cool, it's cool options. Um, I like how it is multi-use, like you could literally strap this around your lower back and you could, you know, basically push out and then you'd be having Actually, it would feel pretty good. <laughs> I haven't used it like that yet. Another pro is the actual material. Feels pretty soft, pretty comfortable. Definitely seems well built. Yeah, it's got pretty legit build quality. It's definitely comfortable. The massaging balls feel pretty good. There's like four of them. Two are pretty high up and then two are lower. So as these things turn around in different patterns, um, you know, you get a pretty wide variety of feelings and sensations. Okay, so that's the, the pros, all right? The cons, let's get into the cons. Well, one, I wish that the power cable was longer. I think it's about six feet. I feel like it should be 12 feet would be nice because you're like, I mean, you gotta sit right next to the wall. Like you're kind of limited on space that you can go with having to have it plugged. I, yeah, I know you could buy an extension cable, but um, be nice to not have to. Okay, so a little bit longer power cable would be pretty awesome. Um, you know, honestly, not too many cons. I don't really have many bad things to say about it. So four and a half, I guess, is being kind of harsh. Now, I saw other back massagers sell with a bag. This didn't come with a bag. So there's a little bit of a, of a knock, but honestly, like, I'm not gonna be using it to travel around. I'm not gonna throw it in a bag and go to my buddy's house. I'm gonna like only keep it at my house. I'm probably gonna keep it in one spot. I've actually been keeping it right next to the couch, um, just plugged in so that if I just wanna sit on the couch, boom, throw it on, use it for a little bit, watch, watch a movie or a show. It's pretty convenient in that way. But yeah, I would say 
Overall, I'd recommend it if you like massage products, if you have some problems with your trap muscles right here, like they're tight and they need to be loosened up and you don't want to spend $200 for a, uh, those like massage guns. You know, this is pretty legit. You don't actually have to like, massage guns are awkward because it's like when you're doing your traps, for example, you're holding your arm up and then you're like flexing your trap and you can do the opposite arm, but it's like, it's kind of hard to get to. So this makes it a little bit easier to actually massage your traps when compared to a massage gun. All right, so as far as my rating, I give this a four and a half star rating. I give this a thumb up for sure. Actually, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up for sure because honestly, there's not many cons about it, but I do personally like this product. I would recommend it to you, recommend it to a friend. I actually bought it for my wife, so uh, happy that I did. Not gonna be returning it. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful for you in making your buying decision. So I'll catch you in the next one.